Welcome to Oman, a spotlight on business and tourism. The Sultanate of Oman, a recent entry into the World Trade Organization, is a dynamic, multicultural and multilingual business hub strategically located at the gateway to the Persian Gulf by the Strait of Hormuz. Oman offers investors direct access to fast-growing markets in the GCC and elsewhere in the Middle East, as well as East Africa and the Indian subcontinent. Oman's rapidly developing economy is the product of the vision of one man, His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said. Since coming to power in 1970, the Sultan has guided Oman from a developing market into a global business player. Led by Sultan bin Said's example, the people of Oman are open, friendly, and hospitable to foreigners. The Sultanate is a nation of 2.6 million people, a quarter of which are expatriates. They have chosen to live in Oman because of its high quality of life, free market economy, security, and history of religious tolerance. The United States has long-standing ties with Oman. Bilateral trade became significant in the 1970s when Oman's oil fields began a process of modernization that still exists today. Recently, a trade and investment framework agreement was signed on July 2004 in Washington, D.C., putting Oman on the fast track to signing a free trade agreement with the United States. TIFA, or the Trade and Investment Friend Framework Agreement, is an agreement between the United States and Oman in order to cooperate more in the various fields of economy, be it trade or investment or intellectual property rights and other areas of economy. This agreement is in reality a first step towards the major step and that is the free trade area. Oman offers a number of advantages for American investors and multinational corporations, including political stability, security, proximity to the Middle Eastern, Asian and African markets, and an open market economy which allows free repatriation of profits. Oman welcomes foreign investors and we think foreign investment is good for Oman. So all the, plus our relations with the United States have always been very good and we believe in these relations. We think that more relations will bring more bon benefits to both countries. So all these led the United States to, to really look at Oman as a friend and as a partner in it. Covering nearly 133,000 square miles, Oman is a vast country with significant natural resources and geographic diversity. The rapid modernization of the country since 1970 has been remarkable. Rated the second most economically free country in the Middle East, Oman is a leader in the region for privatization and industrial projects. I believe foreign investors, including American investors, have a lot of opportunities in Oman because Oman is a stable country politically and it also have a lot of, uh, have a good environment for investment where regulation and systems are very conducive to uh, foreign investment. The Central Bank of Oman controls the country's monetary policy and regulates its commercial banks and foreign branches. The bank has controlled inflation very successfully by balancing the local currency, the Omani Rial, against the U.S. dollar at a fixed rate. The banking sector follows all international standards and regulations and has a lot in common with banking laws in the United States. The banking regulations here in Oman, they are quite liberal. And the banks are also uh, performing, uh, working in a very liberalized uh, environment. There are no restrictions on the uh, bringing in money into the country or taking out the money from the uh, country. The tax regime also is uh, quite uh, uh, reasonable. It gives a uh, lot of uh, incentives for the foreign investors uh, in general and the American investors in particular to invest in the country and they can repatriate their investment and their profits 
at any time they would like to do that. The banking sector in Oman has had a rapid growth uh, since 1970 and we saw a very good migration of people from uh, uh, cash transactions into banking transactions. Uh, we had a very good um, uh, you know, points and uh, regulations led by the Central Bank of Oman. The financial sector's growth is highlighted by Oman Stock Exchange, the Muscat Securities Market, one of the most dynamic markets in the world. Regulated by the Capital Markets Authority, the Muscat Securities Market offers fantastic investment opportunities in Oman's burgeoning economy. And investors can rely on the country's world-class financial services sector for local expertise. Oman's banks are an excellent source of short, medium, and long-term credit for foreign investors. The government of Oman also provides long-term loans for certain projects, and general joint stock companies have the option of issuing shares or bonds on the Muscat securities market. Uh, the banking sector in Oman, they are well positioned now to finance the short to medium term projects in the country. However, in order to be able to finance long term projects, the banks are working very hard to get long term deposits uh, with them. Uh, at the moment, uh, the country can uh, really uh, depend on the foreign investors because we are uh, aiming at uh, inviting foreign investors to come and invest in large and long-term projects. Coming up next, trade and industry. For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. sector companies belonging to the OMSES group of companies and Mr. Suhail Bahwan and Mr. Saud Bahwan. At Amiantit Oman, we produce pipes and roto-molded products using state-of-the-art technology and many custom-made products in glass reinforced cement or plastic. Zawawi Trading Company has automotive, engineering, electrical, and agricultural divisions. We represent Daimler Chrysler for Mercedes-Benz and Maybach vehicles, Massey Ferguson tractors, MAN B&W Diesel Limited, Merlis Blackstone, and the energy division of Tyco Electronics. We also represent MTU Diesel Engines, Rodman Polyships, Siemens UK, Hypercom, and Invensys Middle East. Muscat National Holding Company, through its subsidiaries Muscat Insurance and Muscat Life Assurance, can offer both corporate and personal insurances to international standards. With efficient management, we offer a service better than any in Oman. Muscat National Holding. A friend cares. At the OMSES Group, we combine technical expertise with local knowledge in the oil and gas sector. Our subsidiaries, National Oil Field Supply Company, Walid Associates, Oman Mechanical Services Company, and Riam Engineering Services provide state-of-the-art equipment and services. The OMSES Group, our oil and gas expertise is continually multiplying. Maizun Travel are pioneers in the travel industry in Oman. A part of the OMSES Group, we are a full-service travel agency representing 10 major carriers as general sales agents while having departments for corporate, retail, wholesale travel, and cargo. As a destination management company, we also organize flights, hotels, or tours originating from or coming to Oman. With over 70 wholly owned and associate companies, the OMSES Group is one of Oman's premier private sector conglomerates. Our goals include increasing exports, providing quality services and products, and the continued training and employment of Oman citizens. The OMSES Group. In Oman, dreams can come true. Oman Qatar Insurance Company. Behind every successful business. 
For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. International companies have been operating in Oman since 1970, when Sultan bin Said opened the country to foreign investment. To promote further local and international participation in the economy, the Omani government has invested heavily in creating the infrastructure necessary to support business growth. This is where both the American and the Omani private sectors come into play. In the last few years, we can see that a lot of the development between the American business people and the Omani business people been developed a lot. Of course, that uh, resulted in American companies getting involved in major projects since they, are, since they got used to the uh, working environment in Oman. And in the next coming few years, we expect the private sector to get involved more into major projects and major investment with, our, uh, with the capital, with investment from Omani businessmen or with the investment from outside uh, with the joint venture or partnership with the foreign companies. With over 60% of the Omani people under the age of 25, the creation of job opportunities for Omanis is imperative. This policy is known as Omanization. It, me, it means creating jobs for the Omanis, and also it means providing training for Omanis who are supposed to take certain jobs in the private sector. Omanization is a policy that is conducted in consultation between the government and the private sector. And it has succeeded uh, to a great extent during the last three years. And the Ministry of Manpower is doing a lot of effort to help the Omanis, both employees and private investors, as well as foreign investors. The government has invested in the creation of a number of industrial areas and ports all around the country all featuring state-of-the-art infrastructure in order to facilitate several major industrial projects necessary for Oman's future. Industrial parks such as those in Rusayil, Sur and Sohar provide investors with subsidized sites and services ready for light to heavy manufacturing. Industrial projects are important in helping us to diversify our economy from dependent purely on oil and gas. Those projects also bring other positive things with them. They bring services, they bring training, so, and in addition to that, they also bring other projects with them. So there is always a multiplier effect with those projects. So such projects are very important for us to diversify our economy. Coming up next, oil and gas. For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. At the Public Establishment for Industrial Estates, we develop and manage prime industrial land suitable for manufacturing, distribution, and office space. At eight sites across Oman, we provide state-of-the-art facilities with a flexible approach to our clients' needs. Rusail is our flagship estate with over 130 factories, and Sohar hosts 62 businesses. Sur is the choice of market-leading enterprises like Oman LNG and the National Gas Company. The Knowledge Oasis Muscat combines high-tech office and incubator space. If you're thinking of launching or expanding your manufacturing, distribution, or IT business in the Gulf, we strongly encourage you to talk to us. PEIE has the experience, infrastructure, workforce, and government committed to fostering the best business environment in the region. PEIE, where business grows. Renaissance Services is an Omani public company with businesses in technology, contract services, education and training, and media communications. Renaissance companies are market leaders in Oman, and the group has carried out major projects abroad, notably in Iraq, Yemen, and the Gulf region. Renaissance provides world-class services at internationally competitive prices, as in the provision of unique accommodation facilities for global contractors and personnel in remote oil fields in similar locations. Renaissance is seeking new opportunities throughout the region and beyond through partnership, merger and acquisition, and competitive tendering. 
trustworthy, committed, and professional. These are our values at the Financial Services Company, where we provide investment, portfolio management, and brokerage expertise. Our total assets in December 2003 were 12.54 million rials, and net profit was 2.18 million rials. Our comprehensive, integrated research, analysis, and services make us a long-term partner for anyone interested in investing in Oman and the region. Financial Services Company, trading in trust, investing in wisdom. Gulf Investment Services, global expertise, local strength. For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. Oman is an oil-based economy, and although Oman is a relatively small producer at around 850,000 barrels of crude per day, it still accounts for 80% of export revenues and 73% of total government revenues. Oman Oil Company is the government's investment arm and is in constant contact with foreign investors interested in oil and gas projects. We look at different aspects which this sector brings, including developing our human resources to meeting the requirement of those projects in terms of manpower. And also, we go even farther, basically, to build on the positive externality of those projects when they come. Oman's most expensive and ambitious project to date is the liquefied natural gas project Oman LNG, located in Sur. The oil and gas sector still provides some of the best prospects for American companies, with the industry meeting energy demands of large industrial and privatization projects. Oman oil and gas sector is diversified. It attracts large international business houses to do business in Oman. For example, Halliburton, Slumberry, Occidental of Oman. Americans would find, investors would find Oman an attractive area where it opens opportunity for them to actually work in Oman as well as work within the region. The oil and gas uh, sector industry can meet the demand of the energy uh, industry in, in the country and currently we have one refinery that uh, mainly produce petroleum products for the local market. Another refinery is under construction in Suha which will be also used to supplement the existing refinery to meet the existing demand in the domestic and the growing demand plus also for export. The potential for new discoveries and technological advances have added to the stock of oil reserves. Oman hopes to diversify its economy by developing its natural gas resources, including liquefied natural gas facilities and energy-based industries, as well as non-oil and non-energy related industries. Oman's economy, however, will continue to move in step with oil price fluctuations. The oil sector have seen some difficulties in the past because of the decline in the production from some of the major oil fields. However, we have started to implement a plan to restore production and we hope that this plan will uh, bring the targeted results and we think the production will be able to be restored to the uh, previous, uh, tar previous production level. On the gas sector, we have implemented some projects that utilize the Omani gas, and other projects are on the pipeline, and we think we'll, there's uh, a lot of uh, opportunity in this sector, and uh, the, the outlook is very positive. Coming up next, tourism. For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. At Sabco Group, we are the one-stop shop for anyone wanting to do business in Oman. Our distribution, retail, media, and construction businesses give us an unequal diversity and experience, making us your ideal partner for doing business in Oman. Our beverage distribution operation, National Mineral Water Company, distributes and markets fast-moving consumer goods and a wide range of beverages, including Red Bull Energy Drink. It is your ideal choice if you are looking for distribution or manufacture of consumer goods in Oman. Our world-class perfumery manufactures the award-winning perfume Amouage, a prestigious luxury brand sold in upscale stores and boutiques around the world. 
Each crystal bottle is lovingly hand-filled using a frankincense blend indigenous to Oman, specially created by a French nose. To experience Amouage is to enjoy sensual Arabian splendor. The Sabco Group, your passport to do business in Oman. Rely on Mark Tours for your car rental and tour needs in Oman. Operating since 1990, we pride ourselves on outstanding customer service. We have a fleet of more than 300 rental vehicles for corporate and leisure customers. And why not experience Oman with a one or two day trip or longer on one of our popular tours? Mark Tours, the essence of Oman. Gift wrapped for you. Oman is a wonderful secret waiting to be shared. The Intercontinental Hotel Muscat encapsulates perfectly all that is Oman. With its seamless blend of hospitality and modern facilities, the hotel is the ideal location for your business travels. The Intercontinental Muscat has an extensive range of restaurants and leisure facilities that truly make it a resort within a city. A distinctive landmark in Oman, the Intercontinental Muscat continues its five-star tradition to be simply the best. The Al Bustan Palace Intercontinental Muscat is a royal jewel set against a stunning backdrop of breathtaking mountains, lush gardens, and its own unique private beach. Located just 10 minutes from the business district, the hotel has 250 luxurious suites and rooms, which have everything from a lavish feather mattress to high-speed internet access. The hotel boasts an array of exquisite restaurants that offer the finest international cuisines, including Italian, Chinese, and seafood, and an unequaled range of conference and banquet rooms which can cater for any demand. Our extensive leisure activities include tennis, water sports, and treatments in our wellness rooms for the ultimate indulgence. The Al Bustan Palace Intercontinental Muscat traditional Arabian hospitality in a beautiful resort setting. The Amzes Group in Oman, dreams can come true. For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. Oman has the potential to become one of the top tourism destinations in the world. Genuine Arabian culture, stunning landscapes, absolute security, the friendliness of the Omani people, and a capital renowned as the safest and cleanest urban center in the region make Oman a can't-miss destination for any traveler. Tourism is very important for Oman. It could play a very big role in the economic diversification of Oman. Oman is rich in tourism products and it could really attract many tourists, especially the American tourists. A clean city with a rich history, Muscat combines a unique blend of Arabic culture and charm with modern infrastructure. The Grand Mosque, one of the most beautiful and grandest mosques in the Gulf, boasts the largest carpet in the world. Looking down from prominent positions in the cliffs of Muscat Bay are a few of Oman's thousands of forts and castles. It has a number of luxurious five-star beachfront hotels, as well as exceptional shopping opportunities. Whether in Rui's boutiques or Muscat's colorful souks, famous for jewelry, Arabian antiques, and textiles. Mutra Souk is the place where every visitor to Oman can soak in the essence of Muscat. Oman has a peaceful atmosphere that has impressed both business travelers and expatriates alike. Oman is very safe um, for both business um, and leisure travelers and for residents of, of the Sultanate. The problems of, of Iraq and, um, and the problems of Israel and, and, um, and the Palestinians really do not in any way interfere or influence the daily lives of, of the visitors or the residents of, of, uh, of Oman. Uh, myself, as well as thousands of, of other expatriates, uh, live in Oman with our families and um, we live in a, in a very safe and, um, and pleasant environment. 
Blessed with the most diverse geography in the Middle East, Oman has pristine beaches, dramatic sand dunes, and lush green mountains. A journey to the Wahiba Sands with its high majestic dunes and serene atmosphere is an experience of a lifetime. Desert safaris by camel or 4x4 have become a popular choice for foreigners. Riverbed or Wadi, exploration tours by Omani tour companies are also on the rise. And in Salala, in the southern coast of the country, the climate is tropical, with lush mountains and monsoon rains in the summer months. Omani people in general are a very friendly, hospitable uh, nation. Uh, they deal uh, peacefully, friendly, and friendly manner with uh, visitors and tourists. We believe that the uh, human being element is very important in tourism industry. So uh, positive interaction of the hosting nation is very important to our tourists. Uh, people who come from different uh, cultural, cultural background, political background, whatever they believe. Uh, uh, would really interact with us in Oman and in the region as Middle East. Uh, uh, we believe tourism is a tool which allows us to bridge our, our uh, nations together, uh, uh, would allow them to know, to get to know each other uh, more than uh, they read about uh, the region actually. So seeing is believing actually. So therefore, uh, we do invite an excellent invitation to our friends in the United States to come and visit our uh, country and visit our region and interact with us actually to know that uh, we are a country, we are a nation which we believe in, in harmony, we believe in prosperity, we believe in peace and stability, we believe in uh, 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 friendship actually uh, and peace uh, through all the world. Under His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said's guidance, Oman has gained a reputation as one of the world's most pleasant places to live, work and prosper. Safe and stable with an open market economy, Oman's new private sector-based development strategy promises greater efficiency and global competitiveness. Americans are always welcome to Oman to explore the country, to invest in it and to come as scientists. Many Omanis travel to the United States and they know American people. Now I invite the American people to come here in Oman and see our country and uh, to invest in our country. Seeing is believing. And I would like to invite Americans, whether they are investors or tourists or traders or even university professors to come and see Oman and decide for themselves, is Oman the right place to invest? Is Oman the right place to come here as a tourist? And I'm confident and I'm sure that Americans will like Oman, will like the friendly country of Oman. Thank you for watching Business and Tourism, a spotlight on Oman. Come visit Oman to see for yourself everything the Jewel of Arabia has to offer for you and your business.